Welcome to the channel Discover PhD Research Gradually and I am Bhumika Batra discussing the steps and the alternates to be an expertise in a field. Before moving ahead with this lecture, I will be sharing some information for workshop and the conferences. The first workshop on research methodology in social science will be held in New Delhi from 5th September to 14th September. The another workshop will be held in Guru Nanak Dev University, Amritsar from 11th to 17th September. Then, All India Finance Conference will be held in 2019, IIM Ahmedabad in December. Then, Indian Commerce Association will be organizing one conference in December in Kit University, Bhuvneshwar. And the last, all Indian Accounting Conference will be held in Vyas University in Jodhpur and that is also in December. All the links for this workshop and the conference are mentioned in the description box below. Please go to the link and kindly register yourself. It is very important to attend these workshops and the conferences at an initial level and also in upcoming levels because that will help you to understand how the people are writing, how they are presenting, what all the things are in methodology. They will be teaching you step by step. So go ahead and kindly register yourself. All the best. In the previous video, we have discussed to review the full paper where we have found so many findings and this test which were applied and are not present in the abstract. So, it is always better to do the full paper review in order to have a clarity and the full information of that research. Moving ahead with this video, we will be discussing how to find the statement of the problem of your research while reviewing the literature. While reviewing, you have to take care of the things like I have told you before also. You have to bring out their aim and objective from each and every article and have to jot it down in one separate word file like this. For example, I have done from one of the paper, I have mentioned all the objectives. Then from thesis, I found these four or five objectives. Then this, you can see in the image, there are many objectives I found from doing my literature review. Simultaneously, like you have done with the objectives, you have to take out the limitations from every article you are reviewing. Note, if you cannot find any limitations or suggestions under any heading, please check conclusion last paragraph or last 3-4 lines because every researcher put down the limitations in that way. So, their limitation of the paper is the research gap. So you have to jot it down each and every limitation of the articles you have reviewed. In the last, you have to identify what were the objectives and what is the research gap. That is, what work has been done and what needs to be done. What needs to be done will be getting from research gap and what has been done are the objectives of the previous articles. So you have to identify what information you need on what area you have to work now. And in the same way, you have to create your own research questions out of those research gap and the objectives. These research questions are also known as statement of the problem which we were discussing today. So do not confuse with the statement of the problem and research questions because both are the same things. In this way we find the research question or the statement of the problem. I will be uploading my next videos on the statistical test like what situation in what condition which test needs to be applied and also on writing the research papers. So, keep sharing the knowledge. Stay tuned for more updates. I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye!